the iron palm is not all about hitting targets. It also involves strengthening the hands. And one way to do that tip where you can get materials from your home or neighborhood is this. Just think of it. Uh, half filled with uh, pebbles. pebbles. Uh, it is about uh, one kilo. And then uh, inside, you pour the, the rim of the tin can should be just uh, wide enough so that you can get a hold of it, you know, with your uh, tips of your fingers, like that. It's too big, you can't handle it. And then you wound around it, uh, like I did uh, surgical tapes, thick enough so that the, the hard edge will not dig into your flesh. So this is for, for pre preventing the can from falling or sliding off your hands. I will show you a few moves that can, uh, uh, in a way, it strengthens the weak muscles of the hands. You start with very light weights. The simple reason is that if you take, uh, if you start with a heavy weight, your strong muscles will take over, and your weak muscles will not get the training effect. Here are a few moves which you can do to uh, strengthen your hands uh, or develop local C. So when you strike, even if you strike close like that, like this, there is power. You don't need too much force from your upper body or your arms. It's just your forearms and your hands. Okay, just a few moves. The secret to training is to really start with light weights. When you are doing what you do, say a dozen or ten of it, if you feel any strain and you feel like uh, putting the can down, do it. Don't force it because the strong muscles will take over. So if you start initially at uh, 0.8 of a kilo and you do ten moves, Every other day, you can do it daily later on, but every, every other day. And then you add every, say, quarter of a year or three months, you add a little bit. Don't force it. It's better to be slow and have the training effect than to rush it. You will build muscles if you rush. You know, uh, masters who do the heavy jars, that's the same principle. If you start heavy, you will end up very strong, yeah. You can, but you'll be cracking, you know, teacups, and you're gonna do fine muscle movements like calligraphy. However, this one, better. You really have to uh, control your herbs, not to rest it. So take it slowly. It's also good for increasing your uh, uh, muscular endurance to keep your hands up longer. Because 
if you are big bulk of muscles and you're you have weak muscles there will come a time where, where the weak muscles will uh, weaken or uh, lose uh, strength and it will drag the the strong muscles with it so as in boxing you get tired even if you have still you no know, air the muscles can't move because the weak muscles are dragging the the, the strong muscles with it thank you